Do I sound nice, Alex? Beautiful. Okay, cool. Tonight on Double Hammer. Awesome. Don't change your screens. You're right where you need to be. You're watching Below the Belt's Double Hammer. Tonight, relax and settle down for a gift from our Bristol Neo Soul Underground. Making their recorded debut, allow me to introduce you to Cherry Tang. Cherry Tang, Neo Soul Band, Bristol based, uh, playing for Double Hammer today. Uh, that song was called Call Me, and we're currently in the midst of recording, so if you want to keep your eyes peeled for some music, that would be fantastic. Uh, this next song is called Hear Me Out, Jimmy. Ready? <laughs>
taking your ones in Oh yeah, we've got to do the clap. All together now, ready? No. All right. No. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Beautiful. Okay, cool. You're watching Double Hammer. I'm here with Cherry Tang. Cherry Tang, hello. 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 Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so you are a group of, uh, it almost feels like a super group. You've also all got your own niches within the Bristol music scene. Do you want to pass the mic around and sort of introduce yourselves? My name is Dolly. AKA Dolly Do, I'm a singer. Uh, I do some bits and bobs at jam nights and whatnot and just generally chat shit in Bristol and kind of network that way. Hello, it's Finn. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I play drums, I session for people in Bristol. Um, I'm in a few different projects, uh, mostly around jazz and hip hop. Um, I'm available for all services. I'm Jasper, and I've been I've been going to jam nights in Bristol for about two years now, playing the keyboard and some other instruments occasionally. And I was invited into the band a few months ago, and haven't been kicked out yet. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm Ned. You can find me on Instagram as Ned the Nod. I play guitar. You can also find me on Spotify as Ned the Nod. I randomly sing for a song. Sometimes I go to jam nights in Bristol and jam quite badly. I also play in a few more projects around Bristol. Oh, I'm Corey Maddox Q. I'm on bass, um, strangling <laughs> me on talk. Yeah, been involved in music longer than most of these people who have been alive, to be fair. Loads of work with different bands back in the 80s, but now it's a realisation of working with really talented artists, and these guys are kicking. Also doing some projects in Europe, uh, mainly recording and production. That is moi. So a very talented group of players we got here. How did you all come together to form what is known as Cherry Tang? Basically, wanted to work with really talented young musicians in Bristol area to get involved in jazz, neo-soul vibes. Basically got together with Ned and James, who's on drums. And then eventually we got Mir in. And then eventually Jasper in. And it grew and it grew. And then we got Finn in. And it's all clicking. So, yeah, we're just having a lot of fun and working, or going to be working heavily on original material. Q was so organised, he had this PDF 
<laughs> that he would send round to prospective bandmates and it would say our band vision and uh like the two year plan we have. So there was a dream for the band from from the get go for you. Basically, just promoting promoting neo soul esque music, mixing it with hip hop, jazz, funk, um, but an urban vibe, but not the standard that is typically out there, and trying to do something a bit different, which we're hoping we're doing. And so, you've all sort of been formed by the jam scenes come up a few times already. What sort of places? I know I've I've noticed a few of you at Strange Brew on a Monday. Uh, so we've got Strange Brew, Gallimore Canteen. Mr. Wolf sometimes. At one point, we were going to host a jam. Yeah. Really? But, but then we didn't, and I can't remember why. Yeah, just we kind of do one, but we didn't. So you were, and now you're not. Yeah. Would you, would you in future? Would is that something you'd like to do? Yeah, I could possibly do it. Something that we could definitely discuss and try and sit down and talk about. But yeah, at the moment, we're just focusing on recording and gigging you haven't got any recordings at the minute that's happening soon isn't it yeah so we've well thank you <laughs> so we just uh finished recording we went to cardiff for the weekend didn't we boys did yes yeah, so it was lovely i got three tracks down but we're still in the midst of releasing them so just keep your eyes peeled follow us on instagram if you want to find out when and where so something's brewing something's brewing yeah. have you got any sort of idea on when we're going to get to see the final neo soul broth maybe within the next two months Two months. Yeah. Awesome, exciting. Well, you know, we're very glad to have you here, kind of warming up to that big sort of explosion. You've had quite a lot of acclaim and success from what I've seen. I know you've done some of the festivals. What festivals have you done and sort of what were they like to uh, emerge out onto? So I guess we did Harbour Festival recently. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. That was probably the, the biggest audience we played to. They battled through the weather for you. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was pretty stressful. I remember that day. It was... Because, yeah, it yeah. was so wet, basically mid-song. Yeah. We had to just, uh, like, some of us would stop playing and then drag stuff in a bit. My, my keyboard got really soaked. Yeah. And the sound guy had to, well, one of the people had to come and dab it with a tissue. <laughs> <laughs> to toilet roll. And I had to stop playing and move it backwards, which was kind of awkward. <laughs> but the tissue saved it. That, is that the Nord that we saw tonight? Yeah. So That's it's, beautiful. It's fine. There we go. A resilient, a resilient instrument for a powerful performer. Excellent. Yeah. They're famously. That's well gorgeous. Built. So you've done Harbour Fest. What other sort of? Um, have you played any festivals kind of outside of the Bristol circuit at all? Because you have to kind of book it like the year before. Do you know what I mean? Like a while before the festival happens. Yeah. So next year is basically going to be the the festival the year. Nice. I'll have recordings out as well by that point. Can I get talking about your sort of your musical history? A good mate of mine who's the bass player from a band called Loose Ends. Carl Macintosh uh, basically got me off, started playing playing bass. Then eventually I got a production and management contract with Dick Lee Publishing. And that was when basically was approached to deal with two young guys that wanted to do some blue-eyed soul music, and that was George and Andy. And then we signed up with Innovision Records, which is a subsidiary of CBS, as we signed in, what, 82? Uh, I worked with them on the first three singles, which was Young Guns, Wham Rap Club, uh, Young Guns, Wham Rap, <laughs> <laughs> did those tracks, um, yeah, and I was also working with an American production company called Dick Lee Productions, so I was working with some American artists out in the States, uh, moved on from Wham, and really worked, doing loads of sessions around the UK, worked with PWL, uh, which is Pete Waterman's label, um, so organising their demos and arrangements and then I found love had kids music went tits up <laughs> and basically it's only the last couple of years now just getting back to music uh, and really just enjoying the fact of playing and doing some more recording you played a gig with Meatloaf oh no way that's yeah, pretty cool brilliant bass player sadly he's not with us now a guy called Dionestus he joined Wham after that and did all the major tours but I was only involved in the first three singles but it was a great laugh it was beautiful a great time Sounds awesome to be part of. Why do you guys like playing with it, playing together? We, we, <laughs> yeah. we hate that's each other. That's quite the assumption you've made there. <laughs> as soon as we cut, the biscuits are going to be flying. Yeah. You know, like, I'm quite surprised that considering we all met online, we all got along quite well, quite quickly anyway. When the band started, it actually started through, like, an app, which is, yeah, like, Tinder for music. 
Are you serious? I can't remember we said that or not, but like... Band mix is called. Yeah, basically like the initial members got together through that. So no one was like sonically catfishing then, everyone sort of lived up to what you were bringing. Yeah, no. I used to bring loads of sweets to rehearsals, so that went down well. Oh, lovely. He groomed us. Sorry, you know. There we go, that's that's the headline sorted, thank you. What was your your sweets of choice? What was on the platter? Haribos. Haribos. Sour, regular. Haribos. Haribos or Jelly Babies. Haribos or Jelly Babies. That's... I get the Haribo influence in your music now you've mentioned it. <laughs> uh, aside from music, uh, what are you, your guys' sort of other passions? I just do music, man. Like, I just It's kind of it's kind of frustrating. I kind of wake up and I go to work and I come back and I'm just constantly stressed about not practicing. And My life is just basically drums, isn't it, really? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't really do anything else. I, I yeah, go to work, do my rubbish job at... I shouldn't say that, actually, I hear this. Yeah, no, no that's, that's that's okay. Really good place. Oh, but at my cafe. You uh, make a lovely brew, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, I come back home and I, I practice or I go to rehearsals or I go to gigs. So there's like constant drive, it's always on your mind it sort of thing. It's a bit frustrating because I, you know, have a social life outside. Because like, even when I'm doing gigs, there's like level of socialising to it, but it's all networking, really. Uh, I think a lot of musicians feel this kind of like constant stress of having to kind of think about it and... Yeah, it's a bit of a blessing and a curse, I think. It is for me anyway. I don't know about you guys, but... <laughs> I'm just a bit <laughs> Jas- Jasper's a painter. Jasper's a, a painter? painter? Yes. Oh, I just call it... Yeah, Jasper paints. What do you Go like on. to paint, Jasper? I do I do art. I actually wish I was an artist and not a musician. But I go through phases. <laughs> same, for the same reason, though, as it, you find it stressful. Yeah. yeah. I go through phases of art and music, and right now I'm in my music phase. But I do also do paintings of like buildings or people or flowers. Yeah, I do flowers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've actually just, I've got my own kind of solo artist, musician, singy, producing thingy that I do on the side. That was a really well formed sentence. Um, and just released a song. It's actually one that we do, but just a different version of it. And a music video just came out as well. So if you want to check that out, it's Dolly Do. Ned does some cool stuff on Instagram as well, don't you, with all your plants? Yeah, I like I do a few different things. Like me and my housemate do some live looping stuff. We're a we're a little project called Yuzu Cooley. Oh. My, my favorite my favorite condiment. Um, if you like plants, then we have a lot of them in our videos. And uh, Q, how about you? What, how do you um, unwind when it's not music? Yeah, when I'm not nine to five in um, as an environmental consultant, Ooh. I am just it's all about genre of different listen to different genre of music and there's different projects i work with some artists out in europe vocalists are doing uh production on some of their stuff uh writing and arranging uh but to be fair when i'm not working night five chilling relaxing and enjoying life Uh, and yeah just working on listening to as much stuff as possible to be fair because there's so much really good music out um yeah it's just a good vibe there's it's a really healthy scene at the moment yeah, nice. So, yeah, what music uh, do you guys listen to? Is there, are you sort of all um, united and listen to the same thing? Or do you have very, like, diverse interests musically? Yeah, we're all very different. Uh, yeah, I listen to, uh, basically, like, a lot of different stuff. I love Afrobeat and, Af- like, uh, Brazilian, a lot, of, like, a lot of world music and uh, Eastern European sort of stuff for me. Um, but then I listen to, like, a lot of, like, London jazz scene, which I think is probably s- similar for everyone here. I'm I'm a little bit boring in regards to us just all being a neo soul band. I listen to neo soul primarily. Hiatus Coyote, I think, is a big influence for us a lot anyway. Yabba, Yabba, and Erica Badu, Eureka Badal. That's about it, really. I listen to pretty much anything I was brought up on. Um, I listen to only folk. <laughs> I've never heard another genre. <laughs> I don't know anything but folk. I don't know what I'm playing on the keyboard. That's just. Do you sort of just black out and you've done yeah, a song? Yeah. Um, no, I'm really into uh, D'Angelo. I've been into nice. D'Angelo for years and years and years. <laughs> um, and You're doing great. I know. Keep going. And, <laughs> and I love like Latin Brazilian stuff as well. Like. Sambari sort of stuff, uh, like West African music. I really like percussion. Anything with a lot of percussion in it is nice. 
and then just random albums here and there that I discover. What's your most rogue album that's on your uh, rotation? Rogue? I don't know. I don't listen to anything rogue. <laughs> <laughs> no, let me think. You would take that fan? No. No. Okay. okay. That that's me. That's I'm done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. I moved to Bristol like a few years ago and before that I didn't really listen to like jazz or neo soul at all. And then before this band, I didn't really play any neo soul stuff. But I listened to more like maybe like math rocky sort of stuff. Um so I feel like moving to Bristol Yeah, sorry, sorry to break that to you. But I think I think moving to Bristol it's like got me much more into playing that sort of like jazzy stuff. And it's it's like yeah it's it's been nice to be exposed to all of that stuff because before it's basically just like whatever came up on my Discover Weekly. Nice. Yeah. Now like my mind is open. Music. I'm into obviously well in the neo soul. So anything from Dwelly, Eric Badu, D'Angelo, all that sort of stable of artists. Tribe called Quest, uh, yeah. Slum Village, go and then to the other extreme, the bands like Weather Report and Marcus Miller and Serious Jazz, Latin Jazz. Uh, Tito Puente, uh, percussionist who's immense. Um, so yeah, really varied, but everything on an urban tip, mm. to be fair, that's what I really love and that's what I'm really into. Cherry Tang, collectively, if you were a canned good, what canned good would you be? Oh wait, well, let's discuss what we're saying. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, artichoke hearts. Artichoke hearts, coolio. Creamy and lingering, what the hell, man? Uh, cr- that's gonna stick in, I'm gonna think about that later on yeah I okay coolio any last words for the bristol scene for double hammer readers uh thank you <laughs> amazing <laughs> thank you very much cherry tang awesome cool nicely done boys so uh, just want to introduce you to everyone. We've got Q on bass, Ned on guitar, Finn on the drums, Jasper on the keys, and my name's Dolly. And uh, yeah, that song was called Hear Me Out Jimmy, about kebab shop fights, because that's what we like to do. Uh, we've got one more song for you guys, and this one's called Just Chillin'. Ready? <laughs> But so you've heard it 
everybody we've been cherry tang thanks get your hands on a copy of the companion double hammer magazine now with fewer scab bits and more from the artist that below the belt loves there's music to take home from our double hammer variety show acts in the form of a cd for your smooth operators and cassettes for your smooth operators and flares so check out the links for where to get your hands on all these tasty morsels of underground below the belt are always picking up something you wouldn't want to miss so stay tuned until next time 